Oh, that's changed. It's gotten dark, hasn't it? Now you've done it. Actually had the guts to rub out her eyeball. Consider me your number one fan. Sometimes guilty ones are fortunate enough to walk away unscathed. Hmm. A dim light emerges through the window. A very dim light. Sanctification 1890. The painting has been ripped apart. The lady who once sat there is no longer recognizable. I'm sorry. Serves her right. From now on, I'll always be number one. This can't be. Here, you can have your little toy back. Vainglory, 1890. A lady laughs at the top of her lungs, holding a bloody stained eye patch in her left hand. I don't want to stay here any longer. Reader can, but there's nothing there for me. Oh, I want to see it once more. There was once a certain illusion I saw in a mirror. I once knew so well there were a pair of crimson-colored irises accompanied by only their reflection. The two eyes remained still, not once blinking in the short amount of time they had stayed, staring directly at me and no one but me. All I can remember from the day I was born are a few memories, forged encounters, which I have never experienced in my forgotten existence, recollections which didn't belong to me. No honesty, who am I? To whom do these memories belong, I wonder? They are certainly not mine, and yet... Here they dwell, inside this small room where I sit. Never reminded of these fabricated crimson irises which were played once and again a thousand times has such a memory been showcased inside my small mind. And yet I still can't reach any conclusion other than my complete existence has always been and always will remain controlled by those same eyes. Living in this small room, I remember a dream I once had, a tremendously vivid one. A red carpet had been laid before my feet, which guided me towards a single opening on a darkened wall, one that seemed to advance further and further with every step I took. In an instant, I was thrown into a world I did not know existed. On the other side of the gap, I found a reflection, my reflection. Silky brown hair covered my back, braided into thick braids on each side of my head, which beautifully framed my cheery red eyes. Standing before me was a little girl dressed in fancy frilly clothing. Who was this person I had never seen? Could it be me? I recall lifting my small hand and touching my own cheek. Such a gesture engraved itself onto my memory. The soft texture of my skin, the free and effortless movement I had made to raise my hand made me realize I could move. Such a strange sensation of empowerment filled my soul and body, leading me to a feeling of excitement which led my imagination astray. I was, not only was I real, I was alive. That little girl reflected in the mirror was me and I could breathe and live. Life dwelled inside my body and yet... As 
I turned my head and looked outside, the same light which had crept into my small room had blinded me once again, leaving me inside my old room where I stayed. Deprived of senses, deprived of a sensation I once knew as life, I stayed. Please, show me light. I want to see it once more. I want to live. Such a sad story. An eye for an eye. There used to be a mirror in this room, though it's shattered long ago. An eyeball floats in murky water, sealed inside an old jar. In each jar floats half an unusually big eyeball, staining the water with gelatinous flesh and blood. There are these dusty jars resting in the corner, each one containing different colored eyeballs. Hey. I want to see the light once again. There's something in there. Okay. Uh, eyeball. Oh. This. Okay. Uh... Oh. Can I reset it if I leave the area? Because I kind of pushed it to the wrong area. Can okay. Ah, maybe. Ah, oh, okay. So I got to put that there. I just need one more mirror shard. I got a full mirror right here, I guess. Lock. Thank you, miss. Now I can finally give this back to you. Red eyeball. Okay, then. Better take this with me. Yes, because if I do not take it, I will die. We are forever grateful, miss. The marble statue stands peacefully, its lower surface covered in ashes. Okay. And they're still sleeping. Alright. Pretty dark in here. Pumpkin. Did you know a human head remains conscious for about 15 or to 20 seconds after decapitation? Body decomposes four times as fast in water than on land, so be sure not to drown, okay? Since you're so pretty. I wouldn't turn around right now if I were you. Uh, spooky. Wonder what it feels like to be flayed. When a person dies, hearing is generally the last sense to go. I wonder if you can hear ghosts as you die. Oh, 
Okay then. It is not a nice pumpkin. Bright outside. I should have probably went right. Messer und Gabil. What are these? Okay, what's to the right? A goose? That's not a friendly ghost at all. Okay, so... This again? And we will go to the left and not go to the right because that is not a friendly ghost. And there's a very messed up pumpkin over here. Oh, left. It's so dark, I can't see clearly. Every supper. Don't make so much noise. Everyone's asleep. Oh, I'm sorry. Shh. No, z -z -z, please don't z -z -z, turn me into a pumpkin pie. Z -z -z. Jeez. Which of these? isn't a real door, it's painted on the wall. Hmm. Although there's light emerging from the window, there is nothing to be seen outside. Darkness is where I feel most comfortable. It won't ask any questions. It won't try to understand you, either. I would have stayed in your room if I were you. Your slumber was a true blessing. There's something on the door, but I can't read it. It's too dark in here. Ah. 
Queen Egliette's dinner party menu. Royal apple strudel. Caramel pumpkin pot de creme. Marvelous dream cake, the queen's favorite cookie cups. Smooth pumpkin mousse, pumpkin flan, specialty, secret deluxe dessert. These look so yummy, there's even apple strudel. Oh. Eh? Oh. Like I'm ever going to talk to you again. Hmm, if you could turn into a pumpkin pie for all I care. Are you going to show up like that? Hilarious. I very much like our queen, she's truly kind. I would really appreciate it if these guests would stop chattering, my head hurts. I'm just here to please the queen, and I don't even like these people. Heard that the queen is preparing a surprise for all of us, I'm so excited. Our queen is the kindest person you could ever meet, she's a true angel. I'm so hungry, I wish the party would just start already. I hate the person who carved this face onto my shell. I'm a very down-to-earth pumpkin. I don't want to be grinning all the time. Green and orange is such an awful combination. I wish my leaves were pink. I only came for the pumpkin flan. I'm really looking forward to the special deluxe dessert everyone's been talking about it. This is our only chance to get together like this. I'm really grateful for our queen. The queen's parties are the absolute best. I'm going to eat until I burst. Is there someone sitting here? Such impudence. Mind your manners, you rude hussy. I... I'm sorry. As long as you're learning your lesson. I'm going to start a diet right after this party. I've been tanning lately. Do you think it's working? Hmm. Good evening, everyone, and thank you very much for attending my welcoming dinner party. We shall celebrate our guests' arrival with a toast. Bring in the desserts. She's looking at me. And who might you be? Ah, I'm... Violence! What might you be doing here? Um, I... Violence! There's only one way to know. Answer correctly and you may stay. But dear, get it wrong and everyone knows what will happen. Wait, please, I... Shush! Tell me, little girl, what will be my order at tonight's dinner party? Well... well it's gonna be the cookie, however...
Marvelous dream cake, a tall chocolate sponge cake covered in glossy icing and decorated with shiny cherries on top. Royal apple strudel. A long roll of golden apple strudel lays on a tray filled with creamy apple filling and surrounded by raisins. Looks so yummy! Smooth pumpkin mousse. Smooth puffy pumpkin mousse beautifully garnished with chopped almonds. General pumpkin pot de creme. Large ramekin lies on the tray filled with creamy pumpkin cream. Pumpkin flan. A large pudding rests on a big plate flooded with runny dark caramel. The Queen's favorite cookie cups. Several cookie cups lay on the tray filled with various colorful fillings and fruit. It's taking you so long, I haven't got all night. I'm sorry. Which one is it? I think it's... Maybe the... Cookie Cups, but what's this? Maybe I got it wrong. Take her away, Ash. I have my secret deluxe dessert today. Please wait. I'm sorry I got it wrong. Wait, please! Yikes. Death is dessert, I guess. Okay. I think it's... Cookie cups. Oh? Did I get it right? I see you're not as egg drain as you look. Thank you all for attending my special dinner party. I expect to see you all at tonight's dancing party. As for you, my child, you are invited as well. I shall certainly enjoy such a smart girl's presence at my special event. Thank you. I shall not take my leave. Hmm. Aren't you lucky? You even got invited to the Queen's party. I wish I could go too. <laughs> Queen Egliette looked really pretty as always. Did you know? Queen Egliette put this candle next to me because she knows I get chilly really fast. Isn't she nice? I see, she really is nice. Once golden brown apple strudel is now overflowing with black slimy paste of dead insects. Ew. The layered cake smothered in chocolate is tilting precariously on the edge. There are sprouts of mold on its surface. Such a shame. There's something on the cake. Oh. A mound of puffy moldy mo mold has covered the pumpkin mousse completely. Once glossy cream has turned into a black matte mixture. Once colorful cookie cups have fallen apart, revealing a black slimy filling. Body slimy mixture clings to the weathered pudding. Loneliness becomes your biggest friend after a little while. The hardest part is getting used to its presence.
Get away from me, I can't sleep like this. Shut up, you're the one who's too close. Do you guys ever get along? Queen Egliette sure is pretty. Too bad I'll never have a chance with her. I wish I could have been part of the party. It's a shame I was placed facing the wall. A ah, small bottle. Drink me. Tiny bottle containing a strange blue substance. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at that. Fork and knife of exquisite gold cutlery. There is a letter I engraved on the back of the fork. An old rusty key. Okay. Well... The only thing left is this door. They're so tiny, just like this room. I can't fit through the door. Yeah, that's gonna be that. What just happened? Everything got bigger. The chair became taller than me. The door disappeared. What is that? Where am I? We're practicing for tonight's party. What do you think of our dancing, miss? It's wonderful. You two look very elegant. I thank you very much. Move out of the way. You're pestering us. I'm so sorry. Would you like to come dance with us? I'm sorry. I don't know how to dance. That's a shame. We're all trying our best to please Queen Egliette. Hopefully one of us will be chosen as the best dancing couple of the night. I wish you all good luck. Thank you, miss. Why are you sitting over there? What did you say? I can't hear you from here. I'm asking why you're sitting so far away from me. You're asking me if I want to go practice skiing? No, you pumpkin head. I'm asking you why you're sitting over there and not over here. No, I don't like my beef rare and on medium heat. I like mine well done. Bye, never mind. He's hopeless. Sure is a nice party, isn't it? Queen filled me up with punch. Isn't that hilarious? Are you feeling all right? All right, did you just ask me if I was doing all right? <laughs> I've never felt this free in my entire life. I swear I could fly if you threw me out the window. Let's not do that. Please throw me out the window. I want to be f as free as a dove. I wonder if I'd become a very handsome prince if I got a kiss from a pretty girl. You're pretty. How about you try it? All right. So, did anything change? No, not really. Hmm, maybe it's because we're not truly in love with each other. Probably. Don't give up, Mr. Pumpkin. I'll definitely become a handsome prince someday, you'll see. My dream is to become a famous pianist. 
Do you think I could do it? Yes, definitely. Can't wait until I get famous. It's just like the piano we had at home. The bows are moving on their own. Like someone's playing the harp. A separate head of a plush toy rabbit. Is he alright? Yes, I'm alright. Thank you, miss. Oh, you can talk. Yes, indeed, I can. Although it's a shame I can't dance anymore. What happened? You don't have a body. Not a happy tale, miss. Are you sure you want to listen? If that's alright with you. Take a seat, then. This might take a little while. Yes. In the past, Mrs. Fox and I were the best dancers in the whole kingdom. We quickly became the Queen's favorite couple, and we would dance for her every day. Because we were the star of every dance party, and we were in even invited to dance for Queen Egliette's most precious friend. Next thing we knew, everyone had become jealous, even envious of our talent. I see. One night, after one of the Queen's biggest dance parties, we were ambushed in the dressing room by the other dancers. Ambushed? Apparently, we were too perfect and didn't leave them any chance to be recognized by the Queen. That's the excuse they used to rip our bodies apart. They had our limbs leaving only our heads behind so we could watch them dance in our place. That's horrible. Indeed it is. Is there any way I could help you? I believe there isn't much you can do, miss. I don't know where they've hidden our bodies. They could be anywhere. I might be able to get them for you, Mr. Rabbit. That you could, but how are you planning to do so? I believe it's worth a try. Please let me help you. You are a truly kind lady, miss. May I know your name? I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit. I don't seem to know my own name. I will definitely help you and Mrs. Fox. Thank you, miss, and please, if you've written to her by any chance, please do tell her everything is going to be alright. You can leave it to me. Don't worry, Mr. Rabbit, I'll fix you. Is that how you're dressed for Queen Egliette's dancing party? Pfft. These are the only clothes I have. Maybe she's asleep. I shouldn't bother her for now. Hmm. It's closed shut. Door's locked. I can't see my own reflection. Locked. Locked. Here. Back in the box. Please, I need your help. Yes, how can I help you? See, last Tuesday I won the Kingdom's Lottery, and the Queen gave me a shiny coin to use on that machine around the corner, but I can't seem to be able to use it. Oh, so you'd like me to do it for you? If you don't mind, I've hidden the coin beneath my leaves. This one, right? Yes, yes, that's the one. Use it, miss. I want to see what my prize is. Is it miss? I want to see my prizes. Okay. Strange boxes stored in the corner containing various colorful balls inside. 